Example 1, large number. State the place value of the 6 in 4609. The easiest way to do this is to just turn every other number into a 0. So 0, 6, 0, 0. Then get rid of the leading 0 because we don't need them. So the answer is 600. Another way you could do it is go through and figure out what each column is called. So the 9 is in the 1s column. The 0 is in the 10s column. And the 6 is in the 100s column. So it's six hundreds. Example two, decimals. In the number 0 0.56023, what is the value of the five? So again, the easiest way to do this, just make everything into zeros. So we'll have 0 0.50000. So everything's into a zero except the five specifically. We can get rid of these trailing zeros. So it's just 0 0.5. Another way you could do it is... This is in the tenths column, and there's five of them, so it's five tenths. What is the value of the two? Well, approach them in the same way. We can go 0 .0 two, so just making everything zeros again, and then another zero on the end. We can ignore that zero because it's a, a trailing zero. It doesn't really tell us anything. So the final answer would be 0 .0 two. Or if you wanted to, you could figure out what column it is in. So the 5 is in the tenths, the 6 is in the hundredths, the 0 is in the thousandths, so this must be in our ten thousandths, so it'll be 2 over 10,000, 1 with 4 zeros. Why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here you can enter a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that talks you exactly through the problem. So you can see here I got this one correct so I don't need to worry about it too much, but the next one wasn't quite right, so I can have a read of the written solution and hopefully figure it out for the next problem.